Hey guys, as you can tell by the video, we are going to be reviewing Romelu Lukaku's first informed card. That is the team I played him in. I like playing the 4 3 2 1. That is my favourite formation so far on FIFA this year. He's got 85 pace, 77 dribbling, 86 shot, and 88 physical. I picked him up for around 415,000 coins, although his price may drop a little bit. In 17 games, he managed to score 13 goals for me, which isn't too bad for a striker of his caliber. He's got four-star weak foot and three-star skills, guys, with medium attacking and medium defensive work rates. Some of his tribute details that stand out, I had to play the marksman card on him because I'm not too keen on his 77 dribbling, but that improves his dribbling statistics. He's got 91 attack positioning, 90 finishing, 90 shot power, and 75 long shots. I can tell you his long shots are much, much better than that 75 or Although they are boosted to 85. He's also got 95 strength, guys, so he's not going to be muscled off the ball. He's an absolute tank. So let's get into the in-game highlights, guys. Okay, guys, so I absolutely love this card. I loved his normal card at the start of FIFA 19 that I picked up. I couldn't wait to start and try out his actual informed card. In and around the box, he is an absolute machine. He's going to finish any chance from inside the box, inside the 18-yard box, as long as the uh, the shot is timed right. I am also doing a review of Bernardo Silva as well. That's going to be uploaded after this video. Make sure you go and check him out because he's a solid card that you can pick up for around 50,000 coins as well. But this video is primarily on the Lukaku review, and that's what we're going to talk about. He holds up the ball really well. And the, I say these sort of chances, guys, with the finesse. I think he's got the finesse shot trait. They are going in the back of the net 10 times out of 10, as long as they are timed right, guys. These uh, these highlights were predominantly taken from, from, from foot champions, and you don't have the little green bar to know if you time the shot right. What I do love about Lukaku is his first time shot. So when he, when he picked up the ball first time, if you shoot with him, he's got incredible shot power. So as long as it's the time shot, again, the first time shot into the back of the net, guys. Like those sort of chances, he's going to eat up for breakfast. And he absolutely obliterates any sort of back line because of his 95 strength. He's also got 89 heading accuracy. I know that cross took a little bit of a deflection there, and that's why he was able to get in front. But from corners, guys, I think we've got a couple of uh, corner corner goals later on. When he gets in front of his man with his 89 heading accuracy and his 95 strength, he's not going to get muscles off the ball. Most of the goals I do score of him are first-time shots, guys. I can't reiterate enough with that. That was on his weak foot, believe it or not. He has got four-star weak foot, so it means you can shoot with his weak foot and it not be a problem. The only slight downsides of this Lukaku card is his three-star skills. You can't do too much with him, although he hasn't got two-star skills, so you can do the, the you know, the like a ball rolls, a scoop turns, that sort of thing. But chance after chance, guys, these these chances he's going to put in the back of a net with a plum. And I can't tell you enough how much I appreciated and loved this card. I picked him up for around 415k. He's probably going to settle in at around 400k, guys. Just quickly, if you are enjoying this video and it is helping you, make sure to leave a like, guys, and subscribe if you are new to my channel. We're on our way to 1,000 subs. The sooner we can hit that, the better. I am going to be bringing you other informed player reviews as well. That time, uh, I think that was Salah actually slotted through Lukaku. First time shot from the beast into the back of the net. I will not be getting rid of this Lukaku card anytime soon unless he picks up his second informed card and then I well may well do so. so. This time Salah plays the ball to the back post because of his six foot three frame and his 95 strength He's able to head the ball into the back of the net. This guy was a bit of a noob in foot champions. I think he goes on to quit after this. Uh, but, you know, typical finishes with Lukaku. Any shot he gets on his left foot, he's going to score. We've got two more or three more highlights, guys. Well, I know one of them is an absolute cracker from a corner. I think it's like an overhead kick. This is nice build-up play, guys. Just if you are interested, I do play... Uh, try and win back the possession after possession loss, whatever that tactic is called, and this fast build up play. This is the goal from the corner. Boom! Look at that from Lukaku. There's his 90 shot power into the back of the net with a plum. We've got one more highlight, guys. I would so much rec recommend picking up this card if you can afford him. We're also going to explain the differences between his first card and his second card in a minute. This is the last highlight, and it's just going to be a first time a banger into the top right hand corner. From Romelu Lukaku. So let's go on and get into his pros and cons of his card, guys. The only cons I came up with were his three star, um, three star skills, his 61 agility, and 47 balance. But I don't think that takes away from him, guys, because he's got too many pros. Like he's just literally got too many pros. So if we compare from his first card, he's got plus one pace, plus two dribbling, plus two shooting, and plus one physical. I mean, you're probably paying another 250k in order to get this card. I'll leave that up to you whether you think it's worth it. I personally do. In terms of this card. He's got 91 attack position, 90 finishing, 90 shot power, 95 strength, and 89 heading accuracy. Hopefully, 
all of which you've seen in the previous highlights, guys. I say this is my favourite card. He was my favourite card on FIFA 18. He's going to be my favourite card on FIFA 19. I do love playing with him in the 4-3-2-1 formation. So my overall rating of him, guys, was a 9.5 out of 10. I could have given him a 10 out of 10, but nobody is a 10 out of 10. Enjoyment factor was definitely a 10 out of 10. And value for coins, just because you're paying for very little changes, uh, I gave him 9 out of 10 value for coins. If you did enjoy this video, guys, and it did help, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. But well, this is going to be Al signing out from Alan M Gaming, and I'll see you in future inform reviews, guys.